I'm Ann Snell. I'm from Mount Pleasant, Mississippi, and I'm a volunteer at the Marshall County Humane Society. And we're having open house here today so that we can share our high hopes with everybody who's coming by. And what we're trying to do is complete the renovation of our building. It's half done. This half is done. This half is not done. And we want to get that completed so that we can have a clinic area and some holding rooms, some isolation areas, and make the place look a lot better and be more efficient. If we can add ceilings and HVAC, it's just going to be a plus for us. So we're asking for everybody's help so that we can reach our goal. We've just started. It's way down there, and it needs to come way up here. So we appreciate anything you can do. I'm Janine Cars with Marshall County Humane Society, and we're a small, 100% unpaid volunteers, and we assist about 150 animals per year. We only take in a few as space and volunteer time is available. Other than the ones we have at the shelter, we have a few in foster homes. We also do assist in the community when someone has a dog they're trying to help. We will sometimes provide medication for them or worming treatment. We also have a spay-neuter program, although our spay-neuter vet is out on medical leave now, but we try to help people find the right place to get their pet spay and neutered. And every pet we take in gets all the medical care they need. We sometimes even do surgery on them if needed, but every animal that comes in gets either spayed or neutered before they go out for adoption. We take care of heartworm preventative. If they do come in with heartworms, and we have a lot of that, we always treat them for heartworms, and then we keep them until they're testing negative. So we have them several months sometimes, but we do try to adopt everyone that comes in. And we have listings on our website, which is marshallcountyhumanesociety.org. And we also advertise on PetFinder.com and AdoptAPet.com. And our adoption fee is $100 for dogs and $50 for cats. And we also work with the veterinary school at Mississippi State University, their Homeward Bound program. And about every six weeks, we'll send three or four dogs through that program. And they end up in the Northeast, mostly New York and they get wonderful pre-qualified homes there. So this is Greta. She is has a pending adoption, and that would be me. I'm a volunteer here along with my wife, Amanda. She's the uh, president at the moment. If you want to follow me, we'll go into the kennels. So this is Leia. She came along with Greta. She's still heartworm positive, but she should be available for adoption the next month or two. Over here is our one of our elder statesmen. This is Spike. Come here, Spike. Come here, Spike. He gets a little overwhelmed with lots of people, but he's a good dog. He, he has a possible pending adoption. or he would be a good victory for us. Let's see. We'll go this way. You'll notice uh, some of the kennels are empty. That's because... We do have dogs at our other facility, at the Bahelia facility. We have to keep these open for them in case they ever need to come to the adoption center. But we are fully booked right now. This is Teddy. He's a good boy. He's another elder statesman. He's been here for a few years. Good boy, Teddy. King is actually one of our previous adoption adop, adoptions. We've recently had to take him back because his owner has gotten sick and is no longer able to care for him. But we always take any of our dogs back. We always take them back if we have to. We'd much rather you bring them back to us than throw them away or, or you know, or sell them or something like that. This is Jasper. He's, uh, he's a good boy. I think he has a he has a pending adoption once he's – yes, he does. Mm -hmm. He's being treated for heartworms like a lot of the dogs we, we get, but – this is Cody. He's another long-term resident of the Marshall County Humane Society. He just needs a good home with maybe very few other dogs. He'd be a good 
guard for the house. Tootsie's so sweet. She is fully house trained. All the years we've been, I've been coming out with her. We never once had to clean her kennel. She always holds it up for the out there. So she'd be a very perfect immediate adoption. Very sweet girl. This is Liza. She's one of our newer newer uh, intakes. Liza, how you doing? This is Prancer. Hey, Prancer, how you doing? Hey, good boy. I know. He's saying hi to the camera. And that's all of our current here at the Adoption Center, at least. We have, like I said, we have quite a few more in our Bahalia facility. Marshall County Humane Society also takes in cats. Right now, they have about 10 in residence. We thank them so much for speaking with us today at Hill Country Happenings.